website is called Just Us Friends, but we offer programs uh, that focus on compassion, and many of our efforts go out to help people who live in prisons and who are otherwise forgotten and disenfranchised people in our society. We hope oftentimes that these videos are able to reach them through visits to libraries and very often issues that are challenging for all of us are even more so for people who have fewer resources, who struggle with poverty, who may not have had opportunities for as much education. And because we want to contribute in whatever way we can to help include those folks, all of you, into society, to know you are welcomed and loved and part of our human family. We are hoping that by offering you these short videos, maybe they can help you find a few answers to some of life's challenges. One of the issues that is very difficult for people who are out there often alone or having a sense of being separated from their family is feeling that they have to rely on others to take care of them or to provide for them and yet resources are limited if non-existent and I must say that oftentimes those who are in positions of being of service to people are overwhelmed with the amount of uh, the, the, the large caseload that they have and the amount of demand on their time and energy. And so oftentimes they may not seem very sympathetic or able to do much more than just filling out paperwork. I would want everybody who is out there struggling with feeling that they are at the end of the line and nobody is there for them to start researching and learning how to find the help that they need and relying on themselves to not take being dismissed uh, very readily, to not deciding that because somebody else doesn't care or work hard for their benefit, meaning that they're worthless, and to use the library, if that's where you are now, or to talk and ask questions with the people that are in positions of advocacy for you, social workers, um, healthcare people, ask them what they know about resources that can apply for you. Listen to what your dreams and aspirations are and dream big dreams about how you can fulfill them. I'm not saying to dream discouraging dreams that you feel are pie in the sky and that you'll never achieve, but you know what your gifts are. You know what you want to offer in the world. And to do something you love, even if at first it's doing it without pay or as a contribution to others, those are often the vehicles that can create success for you down the road. Be sure to take care of your health needs, your nutrition needs, your needs for safety and 
sleep, and if possible, education as much as you possibly can. Don't neglect yourself, but look around for courses that might be available to train you in skills. Oftentimes they're free. Look around for job training courses that you might be able to apply for. Look around for where the food banks are and look around at churches that might offer programs that will help give you some support and provide you with clothes or opportunities even to talk to volunteers in the church. Ask for what you need, look around for resources, and don't give up. When you listen to your own inner voice and decide what your path is and not just reconcile yourself to a fate of disenfranchisement, then keep pursuing that path. Be your own best advocate and begin to work towards the goals that you set in order to change your life. There are people out here who care about you, who want to support you, and please come back again to this site. Watch the videos if you have tough life issues. We have videos on addictions. We have videos on money. Watch those that might be relevant and helpful to you and know that we care and are supportive.